think that hammered him for 2014. You know, so uh, hopefully he's over that now and um, you know get back to his game because he's a marvellous star player. And uh, the punk, Johnny Haynes from uh, Swindon. He's uh, been taking part in regular Players' Championships events uh, this year. And uh, he hit a, hit a nine darter in Crawley when he reached the uh, last 16. But he started the year 64th in the order of merit and uh, qualified for the UK Open where he was beaten by Nigel Hayden. But uh, maybe someone who's not quite so familiar to us on the circuit. No, um, certainly not on the TV side of things, but believe you me, Johnny Haynes is a um, very, very dangerous player up there. You know, you don't know what Johnny Haynes is going to turn up. If you, if you get the right one, um, you're going to have your hands full. You know, just literally that. It just needs that little bit of consistency in, in his tournaments. And uh, he can get there because he, he is a very, very good player. Like you say, he had nine data in Crawley, so, uh, you know, you, you can't be wrong to do that. 25, Johnny So Johnny has uh, won the ball eventually. First leg, Johnny to the row first then. Yeah, you might. And uh, get us uh, underway here. 100. 49 years old. He did uh, take part in the Dutch Masters on this European tour back in 2012, did uh, Johnny Haynes, where he did actually beat uh, Peter Wright. Raymond van Barneveld and Jamie Caven before losing to Simon Whitlock. So, 109! He has got quality, and Dennis Ovens has got quality, kicking us off with a 180. Definitely, definitely. That's what you want to do against the throw. And certainly your first throw in a match, confidence. I've spoke 60. about it before. Confidence is a big, big thing on this. And uh, open up 180, that really does boost your confidence. He's 20 up already. Basically took the throw. Nice big ton there to follow that up with. There we go. <laughs> 140. He is steady as you go, Dennis, isn't he? And, and it's, it's, it's probably a shame that someone who's been around at the upper echelons of the sport for so long, a major title has always sort of eluded him, hasn't it? 109. As Johnny himself sticks in a 180, so... A high standard of play in the opening leg of this match. Awesome, and left to finish. That's a great recovery. Great recovery from Dennis there. First start was wayward. Beautiful recovery. Puts the pressure on this. Ooh, treble 17. 84 to go stay upstairs that's it 97 and if you require 60. so for an early break of throw then dennis will look at 20 for double top just has to move along the hockey to see through that and uh, no messing though in the first leg. Dennis Dunn. opens up with a 180 finishes in one day that's, uh, that's pretty perfect And of course the break as well, so all important. Here we go again. Eighty one. I would have said Dennis has probably got one of the most perfect throws in the game. He's just so silky smooth. It really is a beautiful throw that he's got there. Effortless. Um, you know, he's not tight up on muscles or anything like that. Absolutely yeah. terrific. It's just very steady, isn't it? And, then, and, and solid arm movement. Textbook. Textbook. One hundred and forty. So you were playing Super League, and then how did the how did the move into to refereeing and calling start? Well, uh, it's uh, a county game that we had in um, Hertfordshire. The, the caller never turned up, a guy called Steve Smiley. And I turned around and said, well, I'll call a couple of games, help out. Hopefully I'll know my numbers, you know, just uh, muddle it along. And um, when I walked off, something sounded all right. And I really enjoyed doing it. You know, I was never, like I say, I, I played on the circuit for a year, but I was never, ever going to be with these boys. And um, 
I then become the county caller, uh, well, second county caller, basically. And uh, from there, it's, the rest is history. The PDC formed, obviously. Um, invited by the PDC to have a trial in 96 at the World Match Play in Blackpool. And uh, as a reserve ref, because we also had two fantastic referees in, Bruce, and Bruce Bailey and Freddie Williams. And um, they turned around and said, we're not having a reserve referee. Welcome to the PDC. Here we go. And uh, not bad for a scaffolder, really. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you remember how nervous did you feel before that first uh, match you called? Physically sick walking on the stage. The first game I had involved John Lowe, and the second game I had involved Paul Lim, the two guys at the time that had hit nine darters. Of course, yeah. So yeah. Uh, it was very, very, very nervous. One hundred. Do you want to require one hundred and seventy? Top of the shot. Two treble twenties ball. Set it up nicely now. That's lovely. Ball or eighteens. Well, I'll stay there. That's fair play. One hundred. Then if you require ninety eight. So to double his lead. Ooh. Well, that's not a good way to start. So treble nineteen. Great dart. See Johnny shaking his head in the background there. <laughs> If it had been sunk that top, yeah. there, that's, that's what deflates you. Yeah, that would have been a killer blow. Yeah. As it is, he lives to fight another he day. Does. Tops. There it is. In charge of his second leg, Johnny Haynes. The leg Johnny to throw it out. Game on. And as well as the um, the TV tournaments that we see you and uh, and George on, uh, maybe people don't know, we, we keep referring to players' championship events and pro tour events. There are events going up, um, up and down the country which, which aren't sort of open to a public audience and, and where the players are earning their bread and butter, really, that, that you're also uh, calling on, as, as well, of course, going around with the players doing exhibitions. That's right, that's right. Yeah, the, the pro tour, um, like we mentioned, Crawley and places like that, Crawley and Coventry and Wigan, um, they're weekend events where the boys play on a Saturday and a Sunday. Um, a lot of prize money, a lot of prize money, everyone, that 15 grand to win, a, that type of thing. Um, 100 uh, Like you say, Mike, that's their bread and butter. That's where they go. And, you know, the public are not allowed into that one. They can take their own guests, but, uh, and then just have a big, you know, get their ranking points and, and or stand on money, obviously, but, you know, earn their, earn their corn, so to speak. 81. That was a good last start by Dennis to recover and get something out of that visit. Johnny's favourite in this one, though. 60. And a nice big, nice big 140 here just to put a bit of pressure on, on a 201, because it means Johnny then has got to actually hit something to leave something, if you know what I mean. That, that one, that, that's a... Yeah, that little drift into the one yeah. is uh, obviously annoying Dennis. 41. No impact at all. You know, really, this should be Johnny's leg all day long now. You know, just set this up nicely. The 201. Straight, simple, 100, you know. 60. It was a shame in that uh, last game... Um, that uh, the local qualifier, Anthony Lopez, Anthony Lopez um, just couldn't get a look in. Right, a bit like the match that, that we witnessed between uh, Alcinas and Benito van der Pass. Um, he just came up against somebody who was playing in, in, in top form with Daryl Gurney, another 104.8 average uh, for the Northern Irishman. Well, I said to like, young Lopez at the end there, um, he says, I've only been playing three years. I said, welcome to the PDC, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, he didn't do a great deal wrong, mm -hmm. you know. Daryl Gurney just played absolutely gorgeous. You know, 104 average is, is going to test anybody, no matter who they are. You know, even the top boys, uh, you know, your, your top ranked lads. Absolutely terrific he played. Um, and like I say, the young boy never done a lot wrong, kept it all fairly straight. You got a blue star. But, uh, yeah, the, fir the first leg he started very well and then... Um, uh, Daryl was off like a runaway train, wasn't he? He just... Wasn't he just? 73. 
Right, Dennis Wonder. needs to pressure this. He'll be back for double eight. We'll, uh, double four, I'm afraid, uh, he will. will be uh, Johnny Haynes. Uh, this is a bit of pressure coming in now from Dan if he, if he could hit another treble. 83, 62 left. Uh, sorry, 102 left. Eight for Haynes, double four. In charge of the third leg, Johnny Hayes. Wolf leg, Dennis. Right first. Game on. 2-1. Dennis opening up quite nicely. One looks at it. Yeah, that's a uh, nice steady under to kick in with. All back on throw again now. Sixty. One hundred. And so, having played darts for for many years, you're obviously good at adding up and taking away on the out shots, which obviously has stood you in good stead with the calling side of things. It certainly helped me. I mean, the first thing you learn to do as a dart player, or should learn to do, is, is learn the numbers on a dartboard. Know where you're going. All these guys do. You know, if, if I make a mistake, which does happen, if I make a mistake, they know I've made the mistake. Do you know what I mean? They really do. Mostly they know that. 140. Because they know where they're at with their gun. But you think different as a referee as to a player. Um, if you've got 64 left for argument's sake, a player will be looking... Treble 16, double eight. That's how he looks at it. It's a treble 16, misses a double eight, comes in, it's a single eight. He'll walk away knowing he needs double four. As a referee, you've got to add that up yeah. and then <laughs> explain it yeah. that way. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's where it becomes subtly different. And they, the other thing is they can ask you two questions. What's scored and what's left? And you'll see odd times where they're bit Maybe going for treble 14, hit treble 11. And they'll look at you and say, what's left? And, and you instantly have to uh, have to know that, don't you? You do. You do. But, yeah. yeah. But they can't ask you how to, uh, how to go out. <laughs> they can't no. ask you which way to go, <laughs> just what they've got left. That's right. <laughs> and you never say you've got double six left. You say you've got 12. You always say the number. You don't tell them the actual. You always say them the number. So a double uh, 18 missed there by Ovens, and he went inside to leave double nine, but he has got a bit of time. Uh, oh, look. 99. To bring us back all square at two apiece. Rod Harrington eight, hates anyone leaving this uh, double nine. It's, it's, <laughs> it's now, now he's got to be careful because he, he split it. That's a great dart. Sure, he sure. split nines, you you're you're all over the ball. Game on. Yes, there's normally a groan in the commentary box from Rod whenever anyone ends up leaving. Uh, double nine. Well, it's an awkward one to split down, so... Because you've got to go from one side of the ball to the other. You hit the single, you hit the single nine, you go for the one, then the double four. You're chasing numbers. 100. So the winner of this will play Peter Wright what tomorrow number? afternoon. And next on stage, we've got Pete Dias against Jason Lovett, another pair of players who've come through the UK qualifiers to get here. Some good games in these first rounds. I know a lot of the viewers that come on won't know them as household names, but Six like we mentioned before, these guys really, really, really are top quality standard players, you know. And this is great experience from on a stage with the effect of TV cameras so when they do make it to, you know, 60. the main TV programmes. And I mean, the sport's certainly in good shape for years to come with the, the, the standard of the youngsters coming through from the UK, the Netherlands, Germany, or, or all over the world, really. Youngsters taking up the game. Big time. It's quite frightening because these guys, these guys are doing um, what you what you don't expect. The youngs, they've got no fear. They have no fear. And that's and that's that's lovely. That is lovely. I mean, you look at someone like Lewis. 
Two times by the One hundred and forty. Two times thirty, yeah. Uh -huh. Look, um, Michael is only about 25, 26 yeah. years of age. You know, it's it, it's scary. They've got years and years and years ahead of them. And the bar keeps going higher and higher. Ninety-seven. You want to give me one So to edge back in front. Trouble 19, double 12, maybe. Yeah, 62, trouble 10. No, it's gone up the 80s. Then is your requirement, This would be a nice little pick. 60, 60, double 12. You're going to cue me in on that one, Dennis. <laughs> Ooh. 140. Sure. You require 44. Pressure to 44. Four tops, 1232. He's going for tops now. Go get this one. Yeah. Team shot in a fifth there. Lovely mark. He's, he's one over Defense the top. To throw game on. Good little game, this one. Eleven data there uh, to kick us off from Dennis, but uh, neither player able to match that uh, since. No. Fifty-nine. A bit wayward on the. Uh, on the, the game's tight, but it's as I say, it's. it's uh, where's the average? Here we go. Eighty-nine and eighty-six. So. Fairly tidy. Fairly tidy, we would say. <laughs> <laughs> Anything but, ninety is good. And the game is probably there for, for one of these players to, to grab it by the scruff of the neck and, and go up a gear and, and push on, isn't it? Definitely. Definitely. That's what he needs. It also, it, it, the way this is unfolding here like in around the 17s, 18s, if one of them can go 14, 15, 14, then, like you say, that's it. Get hold of it and away you go. That's, they'll pull away on this. Just dropping short on that first one. One hundred. Good last start over the top. And the other thing about all the young talent coming through is there are players that are sort of on the cusp of sort of the world's top 32 or 64, wherever the cutoff points are, Eight. who, uh, if they rest on their laurels, they can quickly find themselves getting dragged into, into things and, and dropping down quite quickly if they're not careful with the amount of talent coming through at the moment. Definitely, Mike, definitely, because um, it's easier to get there. The hardest thing is staying there. You know, they've got, a, that, that, every, that runs every two years where they ha um, have to protect uh, money, basically. So if you say it was in the, you know, the, the UK Open years. two years ago and, and earned 10,000 pounds, that is what you'd be trying to earn this year to even yourself out. You know, that's how that works. And it works with all the tournaments, all the money ranked tournaments. So uh, as quickly as you can get up there, believe yeah. you me, you can be down in a year, you can be off the, you know, off the radar. 134. That's a great dart, that is. That's a great dart. So Dennis looking for a 17 dart here. 60. That's not help. That's no finish. Uh, so he's got a bit of time here to bring us all square yet again at three apiece. 16 for double 16. Next door, you can see Dennis not happy with that. For double eight. 32. Mm. But he will be back. Now Ains can pressure this. Not there he won't. That's this. There, yeah, good job. 82. Then if you require 16. Double eight. That's a better marker for Dennis. Just come inside that. Inside then. That's it. Game shot in a sick leg. Dennis up. So very jolly to Roper. So it's now best of five game, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, could go either way. 
from this point. Oops, Johnny has an open up big there. Like we were saying just a bit earlier on, if all of a sudden Dennis can crunch in there with a 15 14 Darto, um, they could do serious damage then. Here we go. 140. That's a great start. Just the 60 from Dennis on that occasion. Sixty. And Johnny hasn't done a lot of damage to it, really. So it's like a couple of couple of good trebles in it, and the legs there to be won, isn't it? And a couple of decent legs, and the match is there to be yeah. won, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Here we go. 136. So Haynes uh, will be down to a finish as Dennis just has a gulp of water as it heats up on stage. The heat is feeling the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Heat needs cooling. One hundred. What are you in one hundred and forty six? There we go. What way is he gonna go? We can't finish it now. Stay up there, I would. Oh, no, Ninety four. That's good. And if you require 141. So Haynes poised on a potential two data, but uh, Dennis will try and make that irrelevant Double now. 18. Double 18. Game Three shot, what a shot belter. What a belter. Dennis Owen. That was a great Three out players. shot by Dennis, Dennis there. Game on. So nudge back in front, and now with the darts in hand to throw first in this eighth leg. Vital break there, and a good time to do it as well. Johnny sitting on the two dart finish. And then it takes out one for one, which is, uh, throws all the pressure on the, on the Johnny Haynes now. It means to break back immediately. This is good. This, this is good darts. 140. That's great darts. That's what he needed to do. He needs to break back immediately. Get it back on throw. 100. Tomorrow and Sunday we're uh, starting our uh, sessions a bit earlier than uh, normal for these European Tour events. Tomorrow, 12 o'clock here at uh, Gibraltar time, 11 o'clock if you're watching in the UK. And then the afternoon session, 5.30 in the afternoon here, 4.30 in the UK. That's uh, so we can get wrapped up early because we were hoping that England and Spain might be involved in the Football World Cup so that the matches could get done, so people could get to a telly to watch the, uh, the football. But that's uh, irrelevant now, sadly, but sure, still plenty of uh, matches that I'm sure people will be interested in taking an eye on, uh, on the, wor the World Cup uh, as that continues uh, in Brazil. So that's why we've nudged the timings a little bit to uh, finish earlier tomorrow and Sunday. Who's your tip, Mike? Um... I, th I think with the home advantage, you'd probably have to go with Brazil, um, or maybe Argentina. I'm not. I'm not exactly sticking my neck well, out. I, I realise with either of those. 
Well, I was going to, yeah, I know, but I was going to say Argent, I thought Argentina, but now Suarez has gone on. The other lad, I can't think of his name, has done his hamstring. So that's two major, major factors out of the Argentinian team, you know. No, I'm, I'm not so sure. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to see a European team, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, the... That's never happened out there, has it? The Netherlands have, were playing well, the Germans were playing well. And, uh, well, what about America under um, a German manager, Jürgen Klinsmann? Klinsmann? Yeah, yeah. But uh, back to the uh, action as Dennis was trying to mop up that uh, finish. So Haynes here. 16 leaves tops. There you go. 94. And 78 then for Dennis to go to within one leg of victory. Treble 18, right, single 20 tops now. There we go, double top. Ooh. 58. Yoni Yurikawa, 40. Frank's back immediately. Frank's back immediately, 4 all. Nice leg, Johnny, to throw first. Game on. We're back on throw again, Mike. One hundred and eighty. As Johnny hits his second one eighty of the match. One hundred. You haven't broken the throw and gone 4-3 up there off with that 1-4-1 one, one checkout. I thought Dennis, that was his chance to push on and uh, get the job done. But fair play to Johnny Haynes. He's got right back into it. Yeah, it's Dennis made a bit of a mess of the 81 before in that last leg there. And uh, Johnny basically capitalised on that, on Dennis missing tops. Johnny was sat there and away he went. So Drew only then one. Sixty. Yeah, you mentioned uh, that uh, Dennis has had some surgery on his elbow. Well, I think you can just about see the scars there, so It's obviously for a dart player, and if anything to do with the 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 arm or the the hand or the shoulder or the fingers or the wrist, it's crucial. It's, a, it's the it's the worst thing that uh, can happen to a dart player, an injury to that part of the body. Without a doubt, that's why he was struggling. Not to say he never made the world championships. Um, I wasn't sure of his shoulder or his elbow, but obviously it was his elbow there, as we can see the scar. Right on, right on the joint of that elbow as it comes down. It's right there. So, uh, doesn't seem to be causing him any grief. You know, externally we don't see any grief, but... Uh, when you get as old as Dennis, forgive him. Hey, forgive me, because it, <laughs> I'm actually 10 days older than him, but uh, when you get uh, Dennis's age, it just takes a little bit longer for your injuries to... Yeah, to up. heal up, yeah. Long way behind in this one. Yes, and uh, a good opportunity for Haynes then to nudge back in front and for him to go to within one leg of victory here. 16. Uh, and that uh, second round match against Peter Wright, number seven seed, double top. And it is in. So, for a 5 4 lead. And of course, Johnny would have the throw in that 11th and deciding leg if it was to go all the way. We mentioned earlier the how important winning the nearest the ball can be to throw first in these matches. Especially this shorter format. Especially in this. It's not so crucial when you're talking about the sets because, uh, you know, you throw first in alternative sets anyway. But uh, old Georgie feeling the heat there. <laughs> 100. Well, 
Well, it's got you and George um, seeing plenty of different parts of the world in, in the recent years and with the 100. World Series growing, Singapore and Perth and Sydney and we were in Dubai, weren't we, um, right. a while back. So as the game spreads its popularity around the world. 100. I've been very lucky because um, I've now called in every continent, Europe, Asia, Africa, America, Australia. And, um, you know, I, I wouldn't have thought that you know, 18 years ago, that's for sure. But I've uh, been all over the world with it, and it's, uh, and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger still. It's getting bigger and bigger. It's magic. 100. And, and probably enough stories to go in a book that, may, <laughs> that maybe you couldn't repeat in a broadcast, but... <laughs> Oh, well, maybe. Whatever, it's why it stays away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is good from Dennis. 140. Let the finish, though. Puts the pressure back on Johnny to hit big. That's a great guy. That's a great guy, Dennis. Might stay there. Yeah. 85. He hasn't let the band finish 1-1-6. Yeah, two of the, two of the treble 20. Here we go, Dennis. One five eight. There's that first one really low again. So Haynes will be throwing for the match, needing 116. 98. Dennis has put a bit of pressure on that shot. Oh, where is he going to go? There we go. Treble 20 for double 18. Double 18 for the match. And there it is. A 6-4 win for Johnny Yay. Hayes. He's through to take on Peter Wright uh, tomorrow. It wasn't much.